Hello everyone and welcome to the stream. I'm Vikova, you can call me V, and today I am playing Lil Gator Game, the cutest game ever, and I love it, and I I can't wait to return to it. Uh, hello and welcome to Annie and Comely Enveloped and Rowan and Quirrell. It is lovely to have you here today. All right, let's jump in. Tefrax, hello. So we're gonna continue as Lil Guy, the her the hero Lil Guy. I still really love that little waving uh, wolf Tefrax. It's so good. Okay, we're back. There's so many people to talk to. Uh, I nearly forgot about the stream today. I got really involved in um in working and completely lost track of, like, what day it was. Okay, let's go find all the people I didn't talk to last time and talk to them. I think there was someone next to a chessboard. There we go. Oh, there's a monster over here, though. First of all, let's make this area safe. I love this paintbrush. Oh, there's rubbish! I'm gonna pick that up. More monsters. Ooh. These are only the happy slimes. I feel a little bad about this. Someone who created the monsters that just look happy. Tefrax says, I also lost track of time, had my head deep in figuring out Tailwind CSS for a new website design. Oh, that feels like it sounds like a big deal. Carl says, I'd be almost tempted to go and subscribe to that random streamer he gets them from. I wasn't deeply opposed to giving Twitch any money. <laughs> Are you playing chess by yourself? Oh, Traveler, I see you are not familiar with the musings of a master strategist. I'm hard at work developing new tactics to best my opponents. Oh, okay. How's it going? To be honest, I'm not having much luck. Chess is an ancient widespread game. It's hard to come up with a brand new strategy. Maybe I could help? As a master strategist, I doubt you could do anything that would surprise me. But if you'd like to try, go ahead and make your move. Hmm. So reckless! So brutal! I never saw it coming! And now my king is in the mud! It's genius! Exactly the surprising new approach I was looking for! How did you connect such a bold strategy? Just part of being the legendary hero, I guess. I had no idea I was playing with a hero! Please accept this in exchange for your wisdom. Yay! <laughs> Even as a master strategist, I have a long way to go before I'm a heroic strategist. Okay. <laughs> Tefrax says I'm ethically on the fence about it, but I also want to support streamers where I can. I try to use other methods in subscribing when they're available. Yes, same. I, I There's a lot of small streamers who really rely on Twitch and don't really have any other way to support them. And I support them by subscribing. Uh, but I myself do not, did not uh, make my account uh, affiliate because there's other ways to support me and I'd rather you did that. The emotes are fun, but... I don't think they're worth it. Uh, for me. For my channel. Quirrell says heart for wheelchair representation. Absolutely. Oh yeah, there's this, like, bunny. Gazing out. I gotta fight my way to this bunny. Maybe someone else will appreciate my art. What was the quest from you? Hang on. Do I have? I don't remember what I what you wanted me to do. What did you want me to do? How do I know? Oh, I don't know what I was supposed to do. Oh. 
Well, I'll deal with it later, I guess. All right, everyone. We gotta find something else to do. Tefrax is ragdoll stream. Hooray! <laughs> and I'm completely fine. Call me says if you'd like to tell us why you did not go affiliate. Oh, I just didn't want to give Twitch the money. Um, if you be go become an affiliate with Twitch, I believe you can't turn off receiving subscriptions. So I would have... I would have gained the ability to do um, channel points and stuff like that and, and, and gain subscribers, but I would never be able to turn that off. So I decided not to do that. Um, if you want to support the stream, you can support it through Kofi. But that's just for me. I complete. Not everyone has the same options. What's the deal with that bull just standing there? You gonna jump in or what? Oh, I don't know. I guess I'll go ask. That bull just standing there. Oh, looks in looks interesting. Merlin's here. M everyone say hi to Merlin. Hi, Merlin. Ron says you can't turn off subs and you can't turn off ads. Yeah. Hopefully, you guys get um, you folk get ad blocks. I can use ad blockers on my stream because I'm sure there's ads on here right now, but. Good boy, Merlin. Let me play a little gator game. <laughs> the water's real nice, eh? A crisp full day like this, it makes you just want to jump right in. Pity. Can't swim. Oh no! I can swim really good! I could teach you! It's really easy. See, first you submerge, so just your snout is above water, and then... Okay, okay, okay. No, it's... It's more like I won't swim. Gets my fur all floofed up. You ever heard of a floofy bull? Um, well, actually... Nah. No, really, I've... No such thing. Just search on your phone. Just doesn't work. Floofy bulls? Non-existent. Oh well. Because I'll never impress that sheep over there. They've been giving me weird looks all day. We'll never be friends at this rate. You could just talk to them? Absolutely not. I have to impress them first with a huge cannonball. But then I'll get all floofed. And then they... Okay, fine. Hold on. Why are we holding on? Okay, we're gonna have this conversation. I'm not sure my ad blocker works on Twitch ads either, Rowan. And I use uh, uBlock Origin and uh, Privacy Badger on Firefox. Sometimes it seems to work. What's the deal with that bull just standing there? You gonna jump in or what? Oh, he's a little, uh... He doesn't want to get all floofy? He thinks floofy bulls don't exist. What? Floofy bulls are definitely a thing. Yeah, I tried to tell him, but he wouldn't listen at all. Floofy bulls are great. He's crazy. In my book, the floofier the better. go. Can't swim. I get floofy. Look, dude, for one, floofy bulls are a thing. Nope. For two, that sheep, they're totally into floofy bulls. What? Really? Yep. Oh. <laughs> now I'm as floofy as can be. Oh, look how, look how round. <laughs> no one can take their eyes off me. Love the water. <laughs> That's really, really cute. Yeah, calmly, my my ad block co uh, combination mostly works, sometimes doesn't, and I think that's just I use Twitch a lot. 
and sometimes Twitch, you know, you know the battle everyone has, all these websites have against uh, Adlux. Finally, my ideal person. A perfect sphere. <laughs> Lovely. I must befriend him. We've done it! Do we complete this quest? The perfect sphere. Ah! Glide down on my t shirt. This game's so good. Oh, hello, new friend! You wanna be friends? Already? Oh, I'd love to be your friend and join the game! Great! Let's do it then! Now, now, it can't be that easy! It needs a quest! Hmm, let's see. Oops! I dropped my favorite oversized pencil! Quest time! Pick that up, please! Oh, okay, that works. <laughs> it's an oversized pencil. I think someone drops this. My oversized pencil, thank you so much. Yeah, quest complete. Time to join the town, right? Of course, now to just... Oops, again, Butterfingers. <laughs> Could you be a deer and pick that up? Please? Uh, sure. Okay. Hmm. An oversized pencil. Seems really hard to hold on to for some reason. <laughs> the please. Ah, my oversized pencil. You've retrieved it for me again. Yeah, uh, maybe hold on to it better this time. Oh, for sure, for sure. I'll keep a tight grip on... Whoops, there it goes again! Oh, I'm so sorry. Could you grab that one more time? Uh, please? Ah, uh, fine. I'm enjoying the pleases. <laughs> blah, blah, it's a pencil, whatever. Sam is now sweating, look at this. Here's your pencil, don't drop it again. Oh, I wouldn't dare, you know that. You trust me, right? What? oh my hand is slipping. No. Uh-oh, here it goes. I'm not picking it up again. Oh, it's gonna go really far this time. Don't do it. <laughs> okay, fine. You got me. You win. Quest complete. New friend gained. <laughs> Alright, off we go. I'm gonna waddle off and do some more stuff. Whoa! Get it. Hello and welcome, Crazypedia! Crazypedia says, was that literally a fetch quest with a dog? I guess it was! <laughs> Curl says, this is what living with Kayama is like! <laughs> Ooh. Ha ha! Oh, there's someone over there. With the a board? With the skateboard? Ooh. Let's make sure we haven't missed anything over here, though. Evil! Defeated. Don't worry, I've got it. Okay. 
Oh, big tree! They needed to put less monsters around. It's actually... It, <laughs> this game's gonna take me three times as long as it should because I just can't not... I, I cannot resist. I can't resist them. Hi, Marlin. How's it going? How's it going, buddy? Good boy. Sorry. Little melon break. It's three hours before dinner, so of course Marlin's here to beg. A memory! Wow! And then what happened? Then she uses the amulet from chapter 2 to cast the spell. There's a shark over there! Look at this! Oh. There's too much to do in every direction. I, I, I'm losing it. I'll come back for you, shark. I'm gonna put this rubbish in the bin. Wait, I might steal the rubbish from the bin, in fact. Yep. I got it. Look at these monsters. I'll be right back, Shock. Traveler, I seem to have misplaced an important item. It's so spiky and transparent and weird looking. I had just taken a breather, or as you would say, a, a swim, when I noticed its absence. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Please find it for me. It's very important. Amulet. Hmm. Creatures! Phew. That could have been very bad. Hmm. <laughs> Does anyone see an amulet? Oh! You know what? Good point, Quarrel. We better check behind this waterfall. Uh, that's a no. We'll find one though. We'll find one. Villains. Spiky and transparent, and I last saw it when I was getting a breath of water. What if it got washed away? What if it's gone forever? Oh no, oh no! Okay. I got washed away. Could it have been caught up in one of these pipes? That are pumping the water everywhere? No. Spiky and transparent. Transparent in the I. This is gonna be a tough one. Swim. Wait, is this another waterfall? Better check. <gasps> thing gets spikes? Teeth? It's some sort of weird spiky thing. Maybe someone lost this. That this must be it. Oh! An elephant! Hang on, I'll be back. Ooh, hang on, I'm getting, I'm getting very distracted. I'm getting very distracted. 
This is the transparent spiky teeth. I found this weird spiky thing. Is this it? That's it! My retainer! My dad is always telling me not to lose it, but I lose it. I lost it and... and uh, thank you, Traveler. The magic in this item will help sustain my life course. Yeah, that works. Great, you really saved my scales. Thanks. Hooray! New friend. All right, let's go see that elephant. Oh, Merlin's in his little house. Merlin, you look so cute. He's in the little uh, kind of house section of the cat tree next to my desk. Successful smashery. Wait. Phew, that was a close one. <laughs> Whoa, wow, amazing! You destroyed them! Oh, I can't believe it! You climbed up the whole thing! I was so scared, it's so high! And the way you smashed them up! Wow! Just wow! Um, ahem. Well, Hotshot, I'm impressed. You've impressed me. <laughs> really? Here's your prize for being a hotshot, hotshot. Yay! <laughs> Thanks for us. Uh, Quirrell says, fun fact, sharks have teeth for skin and skin for teeth. That's a great fun fact. This shark is so cute. Look at, look at her. Alright, let's go see all these people gathered up here. Oh, there's a magpie literally on my windowsill right now. Mullen doesn't know whether he's running or or, or attacking. He, he seems to be cowering. You right, buddy? Oh, he's on my desk. It's okay. Look, it's gone. It's gone now. He's decided behind the screen is the safest thing. Annie says this shark is so cute. This statement would imply there are non-cute sharks, which is objectively wrong. I have to agree with you. Uh, you know, you, you you caught me. All sharks are cute. It's okay, buddy. It's, go it's gone now. It's okay. He's very frightened of magpies. When he went outdoors, um, most corvids did bully him. Uh, they would fly at him, um, swoop down on him, chase him around. Basically everything bullied him when he went outside. He, he didn't like it out there. And now he's an indoor cat. Hello? Hey, Mon! Hey, Mon's friends! Looking cool! Every day of the week, my dude. Swark! Um, right back at ya? You know this kid, Martin? Yeah, don't worry, Lucas, we're tight. So tight! That's why we need you at the playground, Martin. The game is back on! Yeah, me and the crew are busy looking cool. Busy? But you're just standing there. Standing here doing nothing is why kids like you roll up and rave about how cool we are. What? Come on, that doesn't actually work. You sure about that? Let's get a smash cut to 30 seconds ago. Hey, Martin! Hey, Martin's friends! Looking cool! Boom. It's a full-time job. Gotta respect the hustle. But the splash pad isn't even turned on this time of year. Uh, yeah, that's how we like it. Playing in the water is for little kids, right guys? Uh, yeah, getting wet and everything, so cringe. Squawk! That's what I'm saying. What? No, it's fun! Don't you guys like fun? Eh, easier to keep it cool without jets of water everywhere, ironically. Hmm, so you're too cool to have fun. And the water being on would make you lose your cool? Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, I'm off to do nothing. <laughs> Bye! Hey, Martin, your friend is kind of weird. Yep, 
That's my weirdo. <laughs> this must be the water main! I'll just turn it a little bit and they'll be having fun in no time! <laughs> okay, here we go. Just a little turn. Her Dang, this thing is rusty. Okay, just one big tug to get it open. One, two, three! Whoa! Whoa, that's so sick! I mean, God, this is the worst. What work? Eh. Um, this water is cool. Actually, let's forget that other stuff and like have fun. Huh? Who said that? Let's all listen to them. Little guy, come on, dude. I'm coming over to turn that thing off. No, not until you admit you're having fun. <laughs> Fine, if you won't let up, we'll cut you off at the source. Quick guys, go turn off the other pumps. I'll keep an eye on the old guy. You got it, Martin. Other pumps? There are three other tanks that pump water into this one. If they all get cut off... What gives, Martin? You love water parks! We went to Ocean World together last summer! Yeah, I know. I'd love to leave the water on. What? Why didn't you say that when they were here? You know, because it's not cool. And these guys are. You can't just say stuff. I just say stuff all the time! I'll show them how cool having fun is! Alright, Hotshot, how about a deal? If you convince all the others to turn their pumps back on, I'll walk away and you can do whatever you want. Deal! I know they'll agree eventually. The fun speaks for itself. That's a lot of confidence, considering you just drenched them all, but good luck. This is perfect! Together, Martin's pals are invincible, but alone, I'm sure I can find a way to break their cool! This is a great plan! Quest start! <laughs> uh. Alright, let's go find the pumps! I think I can sprint now, hang on. No. Is there a pump down here? There's Jada! She's not guarding the pump at all. Should I try to sneak over and turn it on? Maybe I should speak to Jada. What you got there? A tree sprouted underwater, made it all the way to the surface. That's a tree? Yep, a magnolia, I think, but she's drooping now. If I stop propping her up, she'll drown. Oh no! Do you uh, need any help? Rowan says you can't just say stuff, amazing line. I related hard to little guy in that moment. Could use a twig and some grass clippings. Oh, sure! I'll grab you some! Okay, I'll save this little tree, then turn on the pump. Easy peasy. Cut some grass. Oh, I was born for this moment. Let's go. This should be enough grass for whatever Jada is up to. Want some grass? Here you go. What are they for? Watch. Awesome! That will be okay, right? Maybe. What? No, maybe! Why only maybe? This puddle's stagnant. Water's shallow and stationary, so it gets dirty. I'll go get some fresh water! Oh. Okay. I'll stay here and make sure no one tramples her. Here. Take this. Then get bucket! I got a bucket! This will hold a ton of water! Anywhere deep enough to swim should be fine. Quirrell says, see this is why cool doesn't work for me. It's pretty clear they're all individually into it but didn't want to admit it to each other. Absolutely. Fresh water! Okay. Splasher, splasher. Oh no! Oh, 
Hopefully this is enough water for the little tree. Deep, 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 deep. I got some fresh water. Great. Pour it on nice and gentle. Wow, it looks so much healthier. Mm -hmm. Just needed a little support. Almost good to leave on our own. What do we do next? Dunno. Huh? What do you mean? Is it going to be okay? What does it need? Appy, hello, welcome! Thank you so much! Everyone, Appy is a, a, a streamer, so if you're interested, feel free to go and check out the stream. Uh, Appy's a VTuber. Sunlight, magnolias, need a lot of it, but this one sprouted in the shade. Her roots are tangled in the rocks. Won't survive if we move her. Not much we can do. But, but, there has to be something! Hope so. Let me know if you figure it out. Abby says, nah, don't check the dummy apple that I am. <laughs> no, Abby's wonderful. rid of whatever's blocking the sunlight. I'm wearing the bucket on my head! Oh! <laughs> okay, what's blocking? Probably the junk trash sign. This dumb sign is blocking out the sun! I have to break it! It's an emergency! It's an emergency. For the trees! Whoa. Well, the flower just bloomed just like that. I didn't even think to break the sign. That was metal. You're pretty cool, little guy. Wanton destruction hasn't failed me yet. <laughs> I'm sure Magnolia appreciates it. In fact, I bet she'd like you to have this. Big leaf. Whoa, a whole leaf? Is she sure? Sure. Pruning is normal for a strong plant like her. You know how I said magnolias need sunlight? Mm-hmm. They usually need well-drained soil too, not too soggy. This one landed here, under three inches of water beside a shady cliff surrounded by rocks and weeds. And she sprouted anyway. Whoa, hardcore. Yeah, she's gonna be fine. Hey, little guy. You know how plants need water to grow? Ah, uh, duh. I'm thinking maybe our little gang does too. See ya. Oh, Merlin's back. Hello, Merlin. Is the th has the threat passed, Merlin? You're a good boy. Okay. Huh? What does that mean? Oh, the pump! I totally forgot! Let's get this thing turned on! Hi, Magnolia! Woohoo! Bye, Magnolia! Mouse! Oh, that's the mouse who thinks I'm little. A bin! Wait a minute. Heck. I tried. Right, let's see where this one is heading. So I'm heading down here. Man, why did I get. Hang on. What? War. Hi, you? I don't think anyone mentioned your name before. What is it? Squonk. Oh, are you still doing the honking thing? Could you maybe just talk to me, please? I heard you saying a full sentence just a minute ago. Squ- Squ- uh. Yes, you did. You said entire normal words. Squark. Yes, squonk. Yes, you did. Squawk. Honk again if I can turn the pump back on. Squat! <laughs> Go 
gotcha. Now if you'll excuse me. Squawk. Oof. Hey, knock it off. Everything okay over here? I heard the commotion all the way from the splash pad. I just want to talk, but your friend won't stop honking at me. I'm pretty sure they only ever honk. It's kind of their thing. Squonk. Well, that's no reason to push somebody. All right, little guy. Let's all try to calm down. What are you going to do? Sue them? You know what? Yeah, I am! Court is now in session. Dude, I was kidding. You! Whatever your name is, you stand accused of obstruction of fun and being very rude. How do you plead? Squark. Very well. Then I call Martin to the stand. Ugh. Here. I'm gonna ask you some simple questions and then decide if you're telling the truth. Wait, so are you the lawyer or the judge? I'll ask the questions here, thank you. Martin, is it true that your unnamed friend has never spoken a word? That's the truth. As long as I've known Duke, they've never said anything except cool honks. I don't believe you! I'm sure I heard that, Goose Gab! Sorry, little guy, that's not gonna fly. If you want to make this into a case, you've got to present hard evidence to prove me wrong. Dang, he's right! I have to call him out with everything I've got! Like I said, as long as I've known Duke, they've never said anything except cool honks. The truth. Hmm. Martin has never lied to me before. But I heard that guy talk, I'm sure of it. I have to think harder. There must be a contradiction. Like I said. As long as I've known Duke, they've never said anything except cool honks. Interesting statement, Martin. I just have one question. If Duke has never said a word to you, then how did you know their name? <gasps> uh, well, uh, Lucas and Jada told me, obviously. They've known Duke longer than I have. Okay, how did they know? <gasps> Yeah, well, you, you see, it must have been like, what really happened was, um, enough! The jig is up, Martin! You can quit covering for me! Sorry for getting you mixed up in this racket! Aha! I knew it! Straight from the goose's mouth! It's for the best. Now that my secret is revealed, I can legal battle Lil Guy head on! <gasps> yeah, I may be talking. You can't make me sing! This case isn't over yet. Bring it on, Duke, if that's your real name. And I hope it is, because this will be a lot more confusing if it isn't. Uh, so, uh, is it cool if I go now? Oh, sure, you can go. Yeah, thanks for checking on us. Cool. Later. Good luck with this. All right, Defendant Duke, let's get right to the question on everyone's mind. I love Martin walking by in the background. Why did you push me on the day of the crime? Because you were trying to get at the pump. I didn't want you to, duh. You could have told me that. Yeah? Well, it ain't always that easy. Besides, anyone with eyes can see that we all want the water to stay off. Or do you? Heh, I have a reason to believe otherwise. Is that so? Fine, then I might as well say whatever you want to hear. Even though all oh, my friends want the water off, I don't care at all. doop de doop de doo doo That's a lie. They must care. Otherwise, why did they push me? And since they lied about lying, the two lies combine into an even stronger double lie. And that means that uh, the, the double lie cancels the first lie and, and um... Hey, could you say that last part again? I got confused. I'll say it as many times as I have to. Even though all my friends want the water off, I don't care at all! Do 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 The truth. You know what? I think you're telling the truth. You don't actually care about the water, do you? Squaw! No, I was being sarcastic. 
Don't you know how to reverse a psychology? Not even a little. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Little guys, no thoughts had empty. <laughs> but my expert detective skills tell me that there's another reason you pushed me. So, if you don't care about the water, why did you push me? But I do care! I- A squat is no use. Ain't getting nothing past you, little guy. I pushed you because the cool kids are counting on me. I'm already the lamest one in the gang. Can't go spilling milk just to get my beak wet. I disappoint kids as cool as them. They'll never want to talk to me again. Hmm, according to my expert detective skills, they really believe they're telling the truth. But that can't be true. I say stupid stuff all the time and Martin still talks to me. In fact, I can't think of any good friend that would do that. Something's fishy here. You really believe they would just drop you from the group? Of course I do. If I disappoint kids as cool as them, they'll never want to talk to me again. Doubt. Sorry, Duke. There's something about your story that just doesn't add up. If the cool kids would stop being your friend because you talk about your feelings, then they wouldn't be very cool at all! Whoa! Whoa! <gasps> are you crazy? Lucas, Jada, and Martin are cooler than anyone on the island! If that's true, then they never do something so uncool! You can talk to them! No, little guy, you're wrong! It just wouldn't work out! I know, because I've already lost another group of friends that way. Oh. What happened? Um, one day, everything was daisies. The next, my pal, my best pal, told me that everyone was just pretending to like me. Maybe I was annoying? Did I say the wrong thing? I don't know. Anyway, I left him alone. I figured if I don't say anything this time, I can't say whatever messed everything up last time. Wow. Dude, that guy sounds like a huge jerk. Oh. You don't even know what you did. I bet your other friends miss you a lot. It hurt to hear, but what if everyone really is just pretending? I don't know. If your new best buddy was pretending, would he have withheld your secret in a court of law? I guess Martin did do a federal crime for me, huh? He risked a life sentence just to show you he cares. I bet Jada and Lucas would do the same. This is such a good game. I love it. Therefore, my final verdict is that your friends like you and you should talk to them. Also, I sentence that big liar to the shadow dimension forever. Squat! <laughs> I'll, I'll try. Thanks, little guy. Sorry for getting so riled up at you before. That was really lame. It's okay. I'm happy we talked about it. But if you're wondering how you can make it up to me, there's this water pump I'd like to switch on. Listen, I'm just going to walk back to the splash pad and whatever happens, happens. I hope to see you there again. Phew, that was exhausting. But now I can finally sentence this pump to be open. Court adjourned. I have a detective hat. Hang on, everybody. <laughs> okay, what else have we got at the moment? No, I like I like my... We should try the pencil, I guess. The leaf shield's pretty cool. I'll try that. I'll keep doing that for now. Leaf shield! What does the pencil do? Does it draw on anything? I don't like the pencil as much. Pearl says that was amazing. It was really cute. It was really, really cute. All right, we gotta find another op, another pump. Hmm. 
Tommy says leaf shield for when you really want to just be leafed alone. I played like a, a flash game back in the day that was called Leave Me Alone. I think it was made for a game jam, but I didn't really know what game jams were. And it stuck with me. It was a pretty game. It was a lovely little game, but it stuck with me because the title was very good. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a chest up there. We have to take a break. We have to take a break from, from the pumps. This is more important. Has anyone seen Bangle Monkey? Maybe we can see the pumps from up here. Hmm. This looks promising. Here we go! Oh, there's monsters on the other side of the island. I better get those. Got it. Making the island safe one creature at a time. Hello, Lucas! Hi. Don't mind me, just thought I'd go for a casual stroll. A casual stroll to a remote island. Oh, you're right, this is really out of the way. <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> anyway, wouldn't it be great if you let me turn that pump back on? Nope, I'm not into it. My friends aren't into it. It's not happening. They are though, everyone's totally into it because um, dang, are they? Martin said he'd love it, but the others didn't say one way or the other. Did... Did Martin really say that? Oh yeah, totally. Oh, I can never tell what he's thinking. Was he joking when he said to turn the pumps off? Is he gonna think I'm a jerk for actually doing it? Whoa, whoa, slow down for a second. What's going on? I just can't stop acting weird around Martin. When I try to talk, I can feel all the words jumbling around my head. It's like how people act in movies and stuff, but those are just movies, right? And no one really acts like that. Yeah, I think so. I've never felt like that either. But talking to Martin is easy! He always says what he's thinking. Ugh, I know, he's so confident! How do you keep your cool so easily? Do you think maybe... Could you give me some advice? What kind of stuff do you say to him? Hmm, advice you say? Hmm, interesting. Hmm, perhaps I could be persuaded to offer... The advice you seek, hmm. Yeah, 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 if you help me out, the pump is all yours. Ha <laughs> ha, excellent. Wait right here, I have the perfect plan. Uh, this feels, <laughs> this is the perfect plan. <laughs> it's so cute. Awkward? I was gonna say invasive. It's fine, a movie problem needs a movie solution. You be Martin, and I'll be you, and say all the things you're supposed to say. Uh, okay, uh... Wow, it sure is a nice day to be me, Martin. I'm just relaxing here. Oh, sorry, he's doing the voice. <laughs> wow, it sure is a nice day to be me, Martin. I'm just relaxing here on this island, minding my own business. Let's see, what's a good opener? Your mame is radiant. You want to see a cool scab? Let's watch Power Fighters on DVD. Let's see a I have to click it. I have to click it! <laughs> that sounds like a thing I would have said to Joe. <laughs> I am famously cool. <laughs> hey Martin, I got a cool new scab, wanna see? Dude, gross! I'm not inviting Martin to the aftermath of an open wound! <laughs> Don't be like that! A scab is just a cool scar waiting to happen! <laughs> I love the little guy! I love, I love the little guy! Right, does Martin think so too? No, not at all. Which is why I usually follow up with something like... I'm a down-to-earth country boy. Do plants make the sun mad? <laughs> Let's watch Rabbit Fighters on TV. 
<laughs> so much fun. No. <laughs> Kyle makes his vehicle penguins huddle around them. That was a delightful image. Thank you. I will accept. I will, I will accept that if I get penguins. Oh, I really want to say do plans make the sun mad. <laughs> I know the answer is let's watch Power Fighters on DVD, but Rowan, Rowan agrees, let's do it. Do you think the sun gets upset that plants eat sunlight? I'd be mad if something ate me. Are you asking me or Martin? Martin, we have debates like this all the time. Oh, well, I guess they don't actually eat the sun itself, just the light. Like those harmless little bugs that eat dander. Oh, whoa! So you're saying we're, like, basking in the sun's dead skin right now? Oh my god, can we please talk about something else? Alright, if you want to skip ahead, I'd say something like... <laughs> I love this game so much! <laughs> I think it has to be the second one. This is so frog detective. This is so frog detective. I love it. Martin, there's nothing that I want to do with you more in the entire world right now than to watch Power Fighters on DVD. I'm beginning to think you aren't taking this seriously. <laughs> I'm <dying>. So funny. <laughs> Completely different developers though. I agree calmly. I, I am aware. But I wonder I, I wonder if uh, the developers of this might have played Frog Detective. Because the the design of all the dialogue and things, I guess the design of loads of it is very Frog Detective. Coming up with stuff to say is hard. Work with me here. <clears throat> hey guys, working on something? G <clears throat> Martin! <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, uh, you know, I just thought I'd go for a casual stroll. A casual stroll to a remote island? Um, yeah, well, uh... Hey, cool drawing, Lucas. Is that supposed to be me? <laughs> you, you think so? Yeah, it's a portrait for you. Too cool. You really captured my essence. Thanks, man. Psst. Go, go, go! Say the thing! Um... Something you wanted to say? Th there was, but um, I, I totally forgot. Y you know how it is. Funny you should say that. I was thinking we could hang later, just the two of us. Maybe that'll help you remember. Uh, oh, oh, why wait? I I'm game right now. Cool. Let's roll. Cool. Later, little guy. Wait. Did they resolve their problem without me? That can't be right. No, 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 they resolved it because I inserted myself and pestered them about it. Yes, that sounds right. Good job, me. Quest complete. Now to get this pump started. Tefrak says the explicitly said frog detective was one of the inspirations for this game. Imitation is definitely flattery when it's this good. Absolutely. This is amazing. This is so good. <laughs> okay, that's all the pumps done. Time to head back to the splash pad! I love that that was explicit. I think the most frog detective thing though is Bangle Monkey and I, I still haven't found Bangle Monkey! Where are you Bangle Monkey? <laughs> smash. Smash, smash. Smash, smash, smash. Jump. Jump. Smashy, 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 smashy. Ooh, hang on. Junk for trash. That's true. Is Junk for Trash here? No. I think I've like done, gotten all the stuff I wanted for Junk, from Junk for Trash anyway. Finally, I have defeated everyone's cool. 
Now they'll have fun for sure. Here it comes. Here it comes. Uh, oh, it's stuck again. Is it coming? Uh, so I guess you guys all wanted the water on after all? It's whatever. We were being kind of dry. Wouldn't hurt to get wet. Same. I'm down for a splash sometimes, but it's cool hanging with you guys wherever. I can vibe with that. I just, I didn't want you guys to think I was lame. No chance, dude. Feels good to talk it out. Anything you want to add, Duke? <laughs> yeah, hit us with a feel-good honk, Duke of Cool. Uh, actually, I got an idea I think you fellas might like. Whoa, the Duke speaks! It's an honor. What's the plan? I figure since this is all tough and kids are out here making towns, why don't we make this place a town of our own? Whoa, yeah, we could all be the mayors of Coolsville. I see some great spots for a few houses, maybe a lounge. All the kids who want to hang with us will finally have an excuse to stick around. Great idea, dude. <laughs> you think? Aw, oh, Squawk, you guys are too good to me. That's one more thing any good town needs. I bet we'll see it any second now. There it is! The main attraction! We've done it! Huh, this isn't how I imagined everyone playing in the water. Surprised you were able to convince anyone to turn it on at all. But you did, and talking to everyone was nice. Not to mention, Coolsville is looking dope. Yeah, so uh, ready to bring some Coolsville back to the playground town? You know it, dude. Keep the place warm for us. Quest complete! Hooray! Let's go splash a little bit. <gasps> Wait. No. Alright, so where are we right now? I don't know. It might be time to go back to the playground. The only one I haven't got is that person who needs someone to appreciate their art, but I, I don't remember, I don't really remember what they said and it, it hasn't been repeated. Pot! <gasps> Monsters. Okay. Down we go. Bracelet monkey? That's really true. Where is bracelet monkey? Mm. Kind of windy up here. Well, Breeze's monkey said I would find them where I least expect them. I don't know what that is. I mean, I've explored this island really thoroughly. Monsters! Oh, I think there's someone over there I haven't had before. I haven't met. Here we go. Candles! No <laughs> mortals allowed, that's below. <laughs> oh. Hello, you're new. Oh, good, they're gone. Well, I got rid of them. Yeah, thanks. Uh, hey, 
Why don't you try again? Practice makes perfect. I've skipped your quest. Huh? You think so? After such a failure. Ah, oh, come on. I believe in you. Just give it another shot. I... Maybe. I... Okay. I can do it this time. I know I can. Here I go. Huh. <laughs> Oh, it was meant to be like bad creature hut. It turned out exactly the same. Ugh. Why do I even bother? Just get rid of them. Well, but uh, please. Well, all right, if you say so. Yeah, figures. Ugh. Yeah, I don't think there's a point. I give up. No, you can't give up. Oh, come on, it'll just end up the same as the last time. You don't know that! Come on, one more try! Ugh. I believe in you! Okay, okay, yes, I can do it this time. I know I can, here I go. I'm still missing the two actors before the playground. Oh, thank you, Annie. Oh, I did it again. Oh, well, I guess it's just not gonna happen. I just can't do anything right. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I don't know. They're pretty scary and monstrous. Monstrous? Scary? Oh gosh, I can't stand to look at these scary monsters. Oh. Oh, I can maybe see what you mean. I can just barely. Maybe if I can summon up some courage, I could take them on. But it's so scary. N no, you can't. I know you can do it. Please destroy them. I I believe in you. Oh gosh, and I guess I'll have to do it then. Here I go. Ooh, 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 got one. Hero, you defeated them. You did it. You defeated them. Ha! <laughs> Only with your help and encouragement. Ah. Oh, well, thanks for everything, traveler. Ah. That was lovely. Dave, hello! Wait, I don't think I've met you before. Oh, this is Tana. Yes, we've met Tana. Where is the playground? I don't remember. Wait, oh, wait, 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 who, who are you? It took me forever to find her. She's so good. Dennis, stay away from that cactus. You'll hurt yourself. But, cattle, don't pick their nose. Oh, it's you. Sorry. You kind of caught me in the middle of something. Is this how playing cow folks usually goes? Yeah, I mean, no! Well, ugh. we were crossing the peaceful prairie, but Xander shouted snake and they all went berserk. Normally I just let them tie themselves out, but they're real wound up at this time. Sounds like you could use a hand there, partner. Really? You want to round them up? You betcha! I'll uh, lasso up those cattle right quick! But, you know, in a nice way. Normally I wouldn't ask for help from a stranger, but I guess you're a friend of Avery's. Alright, little guy, have a go at it. If you manage to round up these ragamuffins, I'd be mighty grateful. Smashy, 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 smashy. Aww. I have to calm down these cow kids. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream! I want two cones! Five cones! A hundred cones! Whoa! Was that something shiny over by your sister? Shiny! I want shiny! What is it? What is it? Nice. Ah, oh, there was a bug around here. I can't see it, but I keep hearing it. Ah! Rawr! I'm an evil prairie goblin, and I'm going to get you. Ah! Help, Velma! Help, 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 help! Exercise is very important. I gotta get more exercise. Hey, last one to race back to your sister loses. Ready? One, two, three, go. <gasps> go, 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 go. Wow, 
Well, I'll be. You got them all. And I'm in good time, too. I owe you one, little guy. That's good to hear, actually, because... Sissy, I want more ice cream! Santa, shush. I'm in a character right now. What did I promise about ice cream? Oh, right. Oops, I have Moo. Yeah, Moo. Thanks for catching us, Moo. Sure. <laughs> so anyway, Avery is... I still haven't found the bug! Did you check your nose? That's where mine was. Ah! Excuse me, all of you. Little guy is talking right now. Let's be respectful. Um, your cattle sure are a handful, huh? Yeah, but I love them. Just can't help it. <laughs> okay. So the thing is... I hear you. Avery's got some crazy scheme to get the gang back together at the amphitheater. I don't buy it, but I owe you. So I'll be up there as soon as I can corral this lot. Phew, yes, awesome. See you there. Alright, well, there's still Andromeda to find, I guess. Stu Smashies! Oh. Oh, you look really sad. Are you okay? No. I tripped on a rock and it fell onto an another rock. And, and then when I sat... When I sat down, I sat on another rock. Why are there so many rocks on this stupid mountain? <laughs> oh, um, well, everything will be okay. Uh, there, there. I'm sorry that it hurts. Here, have a pat on the head. Other people like those. <laughs> I love it. Oh, that does feel a, a, a little better. Actually, it feels a lot better. It doesn't hurt at all anymore. Here, you can have all my extra bandages. All those spikes could poke someone's eye out. Alright. Let's find Andromeda. Oh! You escaped, but only for now. Ah, it's you again, green one. So you finally realize the superiority of the sci-fi setting. Uh, sure, yeah, space is totally better than high fantasy, I've decided. More importantly, Avery wants to show you a really cool science thing back at the amphitheater. Intriguing, but you couldn't have come at a worse time. We're deep in enemy territory, surrounded by space monsters. Oh, that's fine. I fight all sorts of monsters. Space ones should be no problem. Ha! So sure of yourself, and you don't even have a blaster. Actually, I do. Come to think of it, you don't have a protective suit either. How do you survive the vacuum of space? Uh, magic? My cool fantasy spells protect me from vacuums or whatever. Magic? Technology to surpass the Space Federation? Sounds too good to be true. I smell a space monster lie. Could it be that you're native to the strange planet? But that could only mean... Ack! You've led them right to me! What a cunning ruse! Whoa, no, I'm not with them! Even if they do kind of look like me, that's weird. If you are true to your word, then help me dispatch these monsters. I will lay down covering fire from here. They... 
<laughs> you kind of look like me. Pew pew! <laughs> oh, Andromeda, you would love this gun. Green one, you defeated them! Impressive, green one. My apologies for doubting your ludicrous notions of space magic. It's okay. After all, magic is just like science we don't understand, right? We can discuss such preposterous notions later, wizard. There is still danger afoot! <laughs> Quickly, take this! Space blaster. It's a foam dart blaster. The ideal tool for losing foam darts! <laughs> <laughs> Pearl says space fantasy is totally a thing though. I'm surprised how many people don't realize that considering how popular Star Wars is. Yeah, absolutely. Space aliens rarely travel in such small packs. It's only a matter of time until- Egad! Another wave! Quickly, wizard! Blast them all! Hang on. I'm using your blaster now, I think. This is unacceptable. This battle is nearly won, wizard. But whoa, we have awakened a most fearsome foe! The mothership. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. What the heck? Where did that even... There's no time. We must dispatch her before she summons an entire army. I never expected to defeat an alien horde side by side with a magician. Me neither. Maybe an alien invasion in Fantasyland could be fun after all. I suppose I could bind my creativity to just one planet for the sake of my peers. In the meantime, I'll return to home base to consort with Avery on their discovery. Until we meet again, may you outpace the light that guides you, wizard. May all your wildest dreams come true, spaceman! Alright, everyone should be back at the amphitheater. Time to go see Avery's big plan. I have a lightsaber! Ooh. Ooh. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to all classic though. Oh, there's some really good stuff here, but I'm gonna go back to all classic. Except for my paintbrush. And my, yeah, there we go. I just, I love my paintbrush. <laughs> we'll get up there. Way to the amphitheater. Celebrate your next event on our scenic overlook. Okay. Teferek says no schwoom sound effect on the lightsaber. Shake my head. <laughs> that might have convinced me to keep it. Off we go. Oh, how little guy walks is so great. I don't care what works in your cannon. You can't outrun the sun. It makes perfect sense. Even if Science Boy decides it works, it sure as heck won't fly on a farm. You should worry about what does fly on a farm. They're a prime abduction target. You threatening to abduct my kin? Huh? Not me! The aliens! You both haven't changed a bit. Um, Avery? Now might be a good time to tell everyone your idea. Really? You think so? Alright! Alright everyone, here's my biggest idea yet! What if we took all the slimes and put hats on them? Avery, the other idea. The one that's supposed to make everyone work together? 
Oh, right! That idea! The idea that will make space bears, cow folks, and vampires all come together as one. Ooh. This ought to be good. I think that we should all get together and open a restaurant! A space restaurant? No, Andromeda. Not a space restaurant. Avery, I'm confused. What does a restaurant have to do with vampires? Or frontier living? Or the vast expanse just past this meager sky? The answer to all of these questions is very simple. I forgot! What? Avery? Sorry everyone, I couldn't stop thinking about slimes and hats. Can you imagine one of the violet ones in a witch's cap or a blue one in the littlest top hat? So cute! Um, maybe if I could just get another minute to think. I don't want to start a business with people who don't appreciate me. At least we can agree on that. Thanks for trying, Avery, but I gotta go get these rascals the treats I promised. Is this the meeting adjourned? I have a field of asteroids that needs navigating. Hmm, there's an idea. Maybe I'll find a nice sunny asteroid field too. You can't and you know it! Wait, um, don't go. I'm sure I'll remember. Maybe next time, Avery. Come on, Runs, let's ride. No, 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 I can't let them leave again. Um, um, hey, what about food? Uh, what about it? Restaurants need food. Farmers have food, right, Velma? And that we do. And we need waiters to carry the food around. Tiny, energetic waiters. Okay, I see where you're headed. And it's in space, right? Well, no. It's probably not in space. But we have to cook the food on something. Maybe some advanced technology? Of course. Warp technology on an Earthbound planet will be unmatched in popularity. And half of a restaurant is ambience. You'll need an interior decorator and a charismatic hostess. Definitely! And after everything, I think all of that stuff fits into a fantasy world after all. What do you say, Velma? Shall we combine forces to show some mystical patrons truly out of this world cuisine? Don't forget the truly villainous atmosphere. Well, I do have to get these kids their ice cream. But I can handle two more goofballs when I get back. I'm in. Hooray! I'll start making the menu! I'll start folding napkins. I will draft some blueprints. Great! Let's split up and get started. Aww. I knew we would all get along eventually. Thanks for bringing everyone together, little guy. <laughs> sure. I'm glad you asked me to. Everyone's ideas turned out to be a lot of fun. Didn't I tell you they were creative? So, about the playground? We'll definitely be there. I have so many great ideas, I can hardly stand it. I hope you're ready for all the drama you can handle. Oh, I hope so too. Quest complete. Thirty-three friends in town. Holy heck! I'm gonna go. I'm gonna head there. I think we're ready for playground. Oh, it's the end of the stream. No! No! <laughs> Where is the playground from here? There. I'm gonna land there, and that's where we're gonna pick up next week. Oh, look at it! It's so beautiful! Look how floofy! Oh, they're pretending to sub. Okay, I need to stop, I need to stop. <laughs> oh. This game is amazing. Absolutely brilliant. Okay. All right, everyone. Thank you so, so much for being here. I'm having a great time. Uh, I can't wait to continue this on Friday. I've really, really appreciated your company. Uh, I wish you a lovely rest of the week and hopefully I will see some of you again soon. Goodbye, everyone.